month long, we've been talking about heart health issues. And besides exercise, there are other ways to support heart health in a natural way. Here with some answers is natural health care expert, Mark Minkola. Thanks for being here again. Thank you for having me. Very important because I think a lot of women in particular don't realize how dangerous and detrimental this is to women's health. Well, absolutely. There's no question about the fact that nutrition makes a huge difference. The studies are clear about that. And fats are really important. You know, we talked a little bit before we went on. Good fat, bad fat. We yeah. don't want to eliminate all fats. A lot of folks go on diets, eliminate all fats. Mm -hmm. Very dangerous. Well, and there are some very easy ways to get those healthy fats. Tell me about that. Yeah, well, researchers at Loma Linda University recently found 1.5 ounces of nuts. Not a lot. Specifically, almonds, walnuts, soy nuts. The nuts that have linoleic acid and alpha linolenic acid, good fats that help with clotting factor. Mm. These are so very important to the diet. 1.5 ounces a handful doesn't take much. You know, I know a lot of people take fish oil supplements. I certainly do. But another way to get heart healthy fats, you say it's better to get it from your food than a supplement. Well, you know, intrinsically, we require digestion when we eat something. So when you eat a whole food, it's still the very best way to do it. Wild salmon is really a good distinction here, too, because some of the farm raised salmon doesn't have the same fatty qualities has more bad fat than people are aware of. So wild salmon, it's easier to get than it used to be. For a while, it was really tough to get it. Very, very important. It has that really rich omega-3. And of course, as you point out, food is the very best way to intrinsically absorb it through digestion. And tell people what, one more time, I know that there's been a lot made of this issue of salmon and where the salmon came from. Why is wild salmon important? Well, again, when they farm raise it, they feed it differently than their natural feeding would be. Mm -hmm. Their omega-3s are from a lot of ocean-based foods. They feed them grain pellets when they're farm raised, and they really don't tend to get the same omega-3 content. You know, we've um, talked about uh, a lot of different supplements. I know that you, you have. Are there any other supplements that are healthy, heart healthy to incorporate in your diet? Well, sure. Fish oil and flax are good, as we, as mm. we point out. But also, CoQ10, which people are starting to read more about. A lot of research is CoQ10. Also, carnitine in the form of GPLC. GPLC is a form of carnitine that really is very very easily absorbed. But carnitine and CoQ10 have been researched extensively of late regarding metabolic cardiology, which means that we're focused more on strengthening the heart muscle, delivering more oxygen to that heart muscle, making sure that ATP, adenosine triphosphate energy, is delivered to that heart muscle to make it stronger. And those two, those two agents are very, very powerful. You know, you see a lot of uh, commercials now that f feature uh, CoQ10 in, in face, face creams and that sort of thing. <laughs> well, because it expedites the delivery of oxygen. Uh, okay. So we want the heart to get plenty of that. And if the heart gets that too, the skin gets it as Absolutely well, Absolutely right? right. The heart, the brain, and the skin. Tell me a little bit about uh, why you think love is important for the heart. Well, the researchers uh, are making it very clear. The University of Texas uh, recently did a study and they found that they polled a number of patients who were going in for major heart surgery. Those patients that felt loved had a seven-fold increase in their probability for survival following major heart surgery. Love really, it's love is a drug. Yeah. Love alters our chemistry. It produces oxytocin, neurotransmitters that affect our nervous system, that affect our immune system. Love is very powerful at a biochemical level, and it certainly makes the heart a lot healthier. When you talk to people about heart health and getting your heart healthy in a natural way, what, what are the main, aside from, you know, being in love, having love around you, and aside from supplements and that sort of thing, what's another mm -hmm. element that's really important in this? Well, in terms of the love factor, being networked, is really important. Again, the research, Case Western University, Harvard, Yale, a lot of great studies that indicate that indeed when you and I feel connected with pets even mm -hmm. and connected with relatives and loved ones and neighbors, we're socially active longer in our lives as our years go on, really, really important factors to longevity. So that whole concept of feeling like you're surrounded by people who care about you really makes a difference biochemically. Mark McCullough, always interesting to Thank talk you, to you. I know that you have a website. Tell people what it is. It's www.maxhealing.com. Very interesting. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Gene, over to you.